Hey guys, Momo here. Welcome to the fifth episode of our Another Code to Memories playthrough. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the mysterious bird wardrobe and um, going to continue off from there. We were also looking for some white spine books to complete the secret melody for the piano. So, let's look. It's a large wardrobe. Inside the wardrobe are a notebook and a scroll. There's also a wooden case. It's the butler's records. I wonder what they say. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the scroll first. There's an old scroll. Uh. So Lawrence marries Helen, who get, uh, who births Leonard, marries unknown person, and has Henry and Thomas. Henry marries Marie, Thomas marries Jane, and has uh, they both have both have a baby each. The scroll shows a family tree. This is the Edward family tree. Yes. Okay, let's uh, let's take Lawrence first. The family tree has names on it. Lo Lawrence. <laughs> Lawrence. Oh. Right. Let's take a picture of it. Uh, let's look at the journal. On the cover of the notebook, it reads the butler's records. 1916. I understand now, after Leonard passed away from his illness. Master took over the guardianship of his grandsons. He created the Golden Bird Room and the Silver Bird Room in preparation for their arrival. 1930 The two boys have outgrown me. They've become strapping young men. Thomas joined his older brother Henry at university. Stern and strong Henry, honest and gentle Thomas. Master is delighted to see the boys growing up so fast. Finding a successor is no longer a concern. 1936. Henry marries. 1938. Thomas marries. December 1941. The dreadful day has come. Henry and Thomas will be entering the battlefield. The war is getting worse and they are headed for the front lines. When I think about how Master must, must feel, I am speechless. All I can do is pray for their safety. September 1945. The day we've been waiting for has arrived. They have returned. What ex extra <laughs> extraordinary luck that Henry and Thomas both came home at the same time. However, the wounds they, uh, they have taken to body and soul are substantial. We pray for quick recoveries in both areas. 1946. Master writes his will. 1948. Master falls ill. As per Henry's request, both the golden and silver bird rooms have been locked up. Uh, locked and the key was given to the two birds The key was given to the two birds. What does that mean? I Don't know Right, so let's look at this It's a rectangular case There's a silver metal in the case All right, okay, so I have to go this. Uh, I've never been the greatest at these kinds of <laughs> puzzles. Um, I know these have 
to go up here. Oh, frick's sake. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these kinds of puzzles have always been the bane of my existence. <laughs> um, this goes here. Um, okay. <laughs> so, uh, you're going to have to watch me struggle with this for a bit here. Uh, this goes up here and... No! <sighs> uh, <laughs> have mercy on me! Ah, oh, finally! Oh jeez, that took forever. <laughs> cool, I opened the case. I got the silver medal. Phew, okay. Uh, did we explore everything? Yes, we did. Uh, the fireplace. There's a large fireplace. There is no fire going at the moment. There's some charcoal in the fireplace. It could be useful. Charcoal? What are you going to use that for? Got the charcoal. So now we can get the imprint from the notepad. Large disk. Not bad. Okay, let's use charcoal. I'll use the charcoal to find out if I use this instead of the pencil. I can read what was written here. Bill will come. Who's Bill? I don't know. Who is Bill? Hmm. Can I see? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I guess that. Bill. Ah, my pen. <laughs> Bill will come. Bill will come. Okay, let's. Oops. Eh. Okay, let's go. Since we got the round middle thing, we go out here, and then we use the silver middle on the statue. I used the item. This isn't it. Oh, <laughs> guess I have to eh, examine. The base of the statue has a slot. This slot. Now I use the silver middle. <laughs> you put the silver medal in the slot. What's that? Something fell from the, from their bills. Isn't this? I got the clover key. A clover key. Mm. Right, okay, so my intuition says that uh, the clover key fits in one of the rooms. And since it has two clovers, I guess it's this room. Ah, uh, right, clover key. I used the clover key. I unlocked the door. Golden bird room. Ugh, 
It's hot and it stinks in here. Yes, it does. I didn't know ghosts could smell. What was that? Oh, nothing. Okay. Okay, there's a book here. There's nothing in the book. Right. Uh, fireplace? There's a large fireplace. Right. Bookcase? <laughs> there are many books here. Uh, on this bookshelf. And I see one. There's a book with a white spine. And there's a design on the spine of the book. This looks similar to the books we saw in the music room. Yes. Got the e-book. I don't think that's how e-books work. Um, right. Uh, let's see. Um, there are many dolls. Indeed. On the desk sits a wooden case. It's empty, but this looks like a gun case, doesn't it? Hmm. What's wrong, D? Oh! What? That case did hold a gun. I saw it before, and there was a gun inside. So the gun was taken out. There's some old leather books. Uh, right? Um. Oh. There's a cabinet. There's something in the cabinet. That glass is very pretty. Ashley, that glass... What about it? That glass... What? That's the golden bird glass. Golden bird glass? Yes, Franny's father treasured that glass. Franny's father. Yes. Something seems to be twinkling in the glass. Hey, there's something in the glass. Got the second clover key. Right. Um. Right. There's a table made of marble. There's nothing on the table. Right. And was that all? It seems suspicious that there wouldn't be anything more. Here. Hmm. What about the book on the floor? Can I? Huh. Seems I can't go further down. Um. Right. Hmm. What about this plate? Decorative plate on the floor. Hmm. Large vase. Nothing more in the bookcase. Hmm. Well, guess there really is nothing more in this room. Okay. We have to look at this. Uh, let's use the second clover key. Hmm. I used the second clover key. It won't open. Why is this the wrong key? Huh. Hmm. Maybe if we go to our items, we have the clover key and the second clover key. Um, maybe if we use the the clover key. Let's 
this key isn't working. Mm, can we combine? Okay, let's uh, examine. Mm. Um. Uh, slightly confused. <laughs> mm. How do you combine stuff? Mm. I forgot. Mm. Uh, oops. Open. Ah, mm. uh, mm. there is something in here I missed. Um. Combine the keys. Question is how I do it. <laughs> um. Oh, <laughs> now I triggered it. What the hell? Okay, what now? I really don't know. Oh wait, maybe if I... Uh, if I uh, turn this this way and uh, this this way, this way. Eh. Like, like this. No, oh, that's not it. Oh, there we go. And then we go. There we go. It's open. Well, that took far too long. <laughs> There's a big stain on the rock. What is it? On the rock? Oh! No! Father! Stop! Mm. What happened? The stain on the rock. It's my father's blood. What? Ashley, I saw it. My father lying on the rock, dead. Dee. It's a huge stain on the rock. There's a bird cage on the floor. What's that bird cage doing on the floor? That bird cage. Ashley. What? That bird cage fell. D, what happened to the bird cage? I saw it. My father, drenched in blood, he was lying on the rock. Then, someone s saw that I was there and knocked the bird cage over in his hurry. 
she ran from the room. Who was it? It was... Wait! It was... It was the man in the black jumper. Okay, two seconds. I have to see if I can actually... Does the bird cage check at them? Oh, I guess. I see. I thought if I could take a picture of uh, D. <laughs> okay, the man in the black jumper. I have to think. The man in the black jumper. He's the one who shot. He's the one who shot my father. D. There is a wall clock. Hmm. And the bookcase. There is a bookshelf. The bookshelf holds many books. And a zodiac one. There's a book with a white spine. Hey, there's a letter and a sign on this book spine. It's the same as though same kind as those in the music room. Yeah. The end book. I think that's all of them. The drawer is empty. The it looks like an old vase. Dust in the fireplace, right? Okay. And what's up here? There is an old book on the desk. And a desk card? No, it's a book lock. <laughs> Something is written inside the book. When Henry said that he wanted to pursue art, Grandfather smiled and encouraged him to follow his own path to the end. After all, each person is given but one chance for happiness. We should all take that chance to follow our chosen paths. Wells told me that Grandfather wanted me to be his successor at the Edwards Company, but I don't think that is an option. The only person who can follow in his footsteps is Henry. This looks like some kind someone's diary. I feel weird reading this. Hey! The last page has been torn out. There is a torn up piece of paper. The paper has writing on it. I'll piece it back together and find out what was written on it. Mm. Um... No. Oh, like that. Right. Um... Like this. And this. And this. Done. Now we can read what it says. 1946. Henry is acting very strangely indeed. He won't look at me and he's f he refuses to even talk to me. His physical wounds have healed, but it seems he has some far deeper scars. I'm, f I'm worried because he is not acting like himself at all. Why was this page torn out? Several books are lined up. One book has fallen over. <laughs> um, this, the cabinet displays 
white vases. Right. Okay, I think we have all the books to go to the music room. But I think I'm going to end it for this episode. Um, the recording has been going on for longer, but I did have trouble with the puzzle I cut out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And I will see you in the next part. And until next time, stay beautiful.